Is your child a runner? What I mean by that is you're in the grocery store and he's right next to you one second and you turn and look away and the next second he's completely gone. Taking off on you in public places is very scary and very dangerous. And if you have struggles with this problem, I have some strategies and solutions for you. First, I'm gonna start with a couple of ideas that are um, ways to accommodate this problem. We're not gonna necessarily change the behavior right away because you might need a solution like right now, like yesterday. So the first thing I'm gonna suggest is you might wanna have a look online at some of the big variety of safety harnesses that are available. If you even just go to Amazon, you'll see tons of different styles. And here are a few examples. We have the um, little backpack styles that can have animals or just cute little backpacks. There's the wrist to wrist styles that you can go with. And then there's also the full body, body harnesses such as these. Another thing you can do in the store is if um, you can distract your child with a favorite activity, perhaps a tablet, an iPad game, and they can be busy playing that while you can do your shopping. You know, this would be a situation where possibly you could put them still in the cart and then they could be occupied with this game and you can um, continue on with your shopping. So those are a couple of things to accommodate in the meantime, but the next couple of things I wanna to talk to you about are ways to start to develop your child's skill. So we wanna teach the skill that um, running away is not okay and it's very dangerous. So this is a serious issue and you can take a hard line with your child and say, the rule is when we're out in public, you either hold onto my hand or you hold onto the cart or the stroller or whatever it is that you have with you that they could possibly hold. And that's the rule. And some kids um, really respond to rules. So that could be a good starting place for you. The next thing I would recommend is when you're in the um, big grocery stores, notice if that's where your child's behavior tends to escalate. You know, if you're in a big Costco or Walmart, there's lots of bright lights, tons of visual stimulation and auditory noises that could be setting your child off and that's what's making them run. So I would suggest that you start with taking your child to quieter, smaller stores, and practicing the skill of walking beside you, holding your hand or holding the cart in a less stimulating environment. You might even have to start with just going outside of your home and walking to the corner and back and something as low key as that to practice the skill. The last thing I would suggest is as much as possible, try to get your child involved in the shopping experience. So if you're at the grocery store and your child can help you find the reddest apple or the softest avocado, or if they're really good and can pick out the exact cereal box that they love, start to give them jobs to find items for you. This way you're interacting with each other and you're doing the task together, keeping um, him engaged him or her engaged and um, um, with you instead of getting excited, escalated and running away. You can even have your child hold the grocery list and be the checker offer as you pick things up along your way. So I hope these strategies help and I'd love to hear if they were helpful. So please drop me a comment anytime. Thanks.